Hi friends. Today you have a regrouping sheet um, that looks like this. Actually it's a mixed double digit addition problem. Some you are going to regroup, which means you have a 10 and you need to move that 10 ones into one tens, into the tens place. Um, some of them you do not need to regroup at all. If you have less than 10, you do not regroup. So let me show you how that works. So there's a question here, do you need to regroup? So first we're going to look in the ones place. We have a two and a three in the ones place. Two and three, we add the ones first, make five. This is how we write five. We're going to write it in these squares over here. Five has no tens, so the answer is that no, we don't have to regroup. Anything that's less than 10, like 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1, those are not going to need to be regrouped. Now, let's look. Now we leave that 5 goes down here into the 1's place, follow the arrow. And then there's nothing in the 10's place, so we don't write anything in the regrouping box. Now let's look at the 10's column. We're just adding 7 and 1. 7 and 1 make... 8. Yeah. 7 tens and 1 ten make 8 tens. So 72 plus 13 is 85. We did not regroup because 5 is less than 10. Okay. In the next one, let's look into that 1's column and let's decide 9 plus 6 or 6 plus 9. You know what? I'm going to add the 9. I'm going to say 9. I'm going to count on 6. 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I get 15 when I add 9 and 6. So I write it in these boxes. This represents the 10s, and this box represents the 1s. So look at 15. 15 actually has 5 1s, and it does have 10 in it. But since we can't put a 2-digit number in there, and we have a 10 here, that 10 has to move over into the 10s place. So Yes, we do need to regroup, and we're moving that 10, follow the arrow, up into the regrouping box, 110, and the five ones, they move down here. Now we can add the tens column, which has a 1, and a 5, and a 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, and one more would be 7, so 7 tens. So 56 plus 19 is 75. And we found it out because we added the ones and we had to regroup. Okay, let's look at the next problem. We're going to look at the ones column. We have four ones and one one. Four and one make five. Does five have any tens? No, no tens. So nothing's going to go up in the regrouping box and we don't have to regroup. So we're going to circle no. The five ones are going to go down into the ones place. And now we can just add the tens. 7 and 2 makes 7, 8, 9. 9. All right, we're going to do one more. And then you can do the rest on your own. We have 36 plus 48. Let's add the 1's column first. We have 6 and 8. I'm going to start at 8 and count on 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 14. 14 ones. Hmm, that's more than 10. In fact, 14 has four ones and one 10. So yes, we are going to regroup. The one 10 follows the arrow up into the regrouping box, and the four ones go down to the bottom into the ones place. Now we can add the tens. One and three make four, and four plus four makes eight. So, I'm hoping this helps you to at least know how to use this sheet. If you need more help, please contact your child's teacher, and they can set up a Google, a Google Meet with you. Um, we'd be happy to do that. And try practicing these ones on your own. You know, watch this video again if you need to, but this hopefully will help you practice figuring out mixed grouping, regrouping, and no regrouping, because all of these are different. Some with regrouping, some with none. All right, good luck and enjoy.